Yo, 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 what's going on guys? It's your boy Ant back here again with another video for you guys today. And this video is definitely going to be something different than I normally do if you can't tell by the title and all that by now. This is not sports card related so if you're not into that I do apologize and go ahead and exit out now because there will not be any sports cards shown in this video. But regardless, if you guys did not know, this past Saturday, I believe it was the 27th, was in fact the 20th anniversary of uh, Pokemon being released in the U.S. And uh, that is just crazy thinking about that because it was a huge part of my childhood as well as Dragon Ball Z and um, you know Yu-Gi-Oh! things like that. And for sure, I went hard um, more with the games than I did the cards. Um, I did have cards, but not as many as I would have liked back then probably. But I was way into the games, that's for sure. I remember, you know, battling people or whatever it was. And it was just a hardcore time. That's all. And I really enjoyed it. And now it's the 20th anniversary. I decided, damn, that was a big piece of my childhood. I like to relive it somewhat as much as I can without looking crazy. But I decided I want to put together the uh, first generation, the original Pokemon uh, base sets and everything involved in the first generation, uh, maybe even the second, because I was kind of into that too at that point, I believe, was in the year 2000, maybe 2001. But anywho, yeah, I want to put together the set. I believe it's 102 cards. I don't have a checklist on me right now. I know I looked over it on the computer, and um, yeah, it is near impossible to get all PSA 10s because those prices are ridiculous. I remember seeing a Charizard sell like 5,500 to 6,000 the other day absolutely insane for that hell no but i will collect psa 9s psa 10 first editions whatever i can afford at the time that's for damn sure so if you have any let me know um i'll go over everything when i mean by first editions and all that but let's go ahead and start showing off some of these random cards that i do have right here that i fully put in top loaders and sleeves and which i need to reorder some more because they took up all of them but right now we have these uh trainer cards I, like i said i was into the card game but not as much as like I don't know what these do. I mean, obviously you can read them and tell you what to do, but I'm not really familiar with these as much compared to the actual cards themselves. So there's those, but those I ran out of uh, freaking top loaders and sleeves. Well, actually those uh, penny sleeves for that. Let's go ahead and go through some of these real quick so I can explain. Like for instance, this crabby right here. It's obviously blue, being a water type. You guys know all this stuff. You see this little emblem right here it means it's out of the fossil set. And then, for instance, I want first edition, which will be on this opposite side right here. And I'll say first edition. I will want that for sure because that's something I'm trying to put together. Um, whether it's graded or non-graded, I don't care, but I do want them. So I'll be getting some of those in here shortly, but I want to put together full sets. I'll have checklists here soon. I'll show you guys if you care. But anyways, we got a Krabby, Kingler, Golem, Persian, Abra, Mankey, Onyx, Sandslash, and Dark Kadabra out of the Team Rocket set. I figured that the sets in this are ridiculous. It's just crazy how many there are. I thought sports sets were crazy. No, these are just insane. Um, I'm going to flip these around. Got a Tentacruel. Tentacool, sorry. Dodrio, Doduo, Charmeleon, Charmander, Rattata, Graveler, Geodude. Oddish, obviously some are upside down. The trainer cards, plus power, sleep. Muck, which is actually a hollow. Kind of hard to tell, but you can see there's some slight damage, that gash right there. A friend of mine on Facebook sent these to me. He said this will get you jump started, which it definitely is. So I'm looking for first edition and non-first edition of these right here as well. I'm gonna try and compile all the sets into one of the first generation. We'll see how that goes. Grass energy, mysterious fossil trainer, fighting energy, Arbok and Ekans, which fun fact of the day for anybody that did not know this, this is a noob thing right here, but their names are what they are spelled backwards, if that makes sense. Like for instance, Arbok is Cobra spelled backwards, as well as Ekans, which is Snake spelled backwards. Anybody that didn't know that, I mean, like I said, it's a noob thing. I knew that forever, but in case you didn't know that, there's your fun fact for the day, fellas. Then we got a Machoke, Powering off. Coughing, Eevee, Gloom, Sorry guys, my Bluetooth speaker was powering off. Left it on for a while. Anywho, now we got Psyduck, Rhydon, Rhyhorn, Lapras, Jigglypuff, Slowpoke, Ivysaur, Grass Energy, Water Energy, The Boss's Way, Nightly Garbage Run, Pokemon Breeder, Super Energy Removal, 
Now, obviously, I have all of these every which way up in here. Excuse me real quick. Computer search, item finder, Pokemon trainer, trader, sorry, full heal, super rod. This is a whole different set here, Misty Seedra. It is a hollow with the pre-release on it. Not too sure what pre-release means. Well, I know what it means, but what it means as far as the set. I do know this is the Gym Challenge Hero set, I believe is what it's called. And basically, it's just trainers that have their own specific Pokemon is what that goes. And it's actually pretty cool. I like to complete that set uh, soon after the base set gets done. But like I said, we'll see. <clears throat> Moving right along here. Tangela. Bellsprout. Cubone. Probably one of my favorite Pokemon as a kid. Rapidash. Ponyta. Ghastly. Haunter. Primeape. And Mankey. Keep right along moving here, fellas. I said this is only a little over 100 cards, nothing too big. Obviously, this is just base, no hollows or nothing that I want yet. We'll be coming in shortly, I hope. Got a Porygon, Meowth, Diglett, Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks. There is a misprint, which I understand why it's a misprint with his red cheeks. I have one of those coming in as well. And I don't know why the misprint's considered red cheeks because I thought he originally had those, but this is his yellow cheeks. Supposed to be the regular card, whatever. Dark Magneton, Magneton, whatever. I had a Team Rocket set. Magnemite, another Muck Hollow with actually no damage on this one compared to the other. I had a Fossil set. Marowak, War Turtle, Squirtle, Dratini, Execute, Dragonair, Cloyster, Venonat, Shelder, Weedle. Nidoran Mail, Butterfree, Growlithe, and Tentacruel, which I know for sure cards that I do want that are PSA 10 will be Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur, as well as uh, Pikachu. I want those PSA 10 just because obviously those were the basic original Pokemon from beginning, and they're probably some of my favorites. I mean, they evolve into the, I guess, the face of the Pokemon uh, card game, you know, Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, but... Yeah, I want those PSA 10 for sure. We'll see what happens with that. Ghastly, Seal, Misty Seal, Smoochum, Voltorb, Energy Removal, Gambler, Energy Surge, Pokedex, Wigglytuff, Kabutops, another one of my favorite Pokemon, just like him in a Scyther with the blades as a hands, a Kabuto. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, Magmar, Machop, Seal, Sea King, Goldeen, Bulbasaur, and Golduck. I actually do have a Bulbasaur, Charmander, and a Squirtle right now, but they're not the first editions. I want the first editions PSA 10, if at all possible. But anyways, fellas, short video today. That is actually all I have right now. Like I said, nothing huge at all. I will be uh, compiling hopefully some PSA 10s or 9s, hollows. I want to get those for sure PSA, whether it's 9 or 10. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm looking for first edition sets uh, or base sets. And um, any of the first generation, you can look it up. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anything that looks like these, I mean... I know for sure the newest stuff I'm not going to mess around with, uh, like, uh, what the hell are they called? Breakpoint and Breakthrough or something like that. The new stuff I don't care for because I don't even know what the hell the name of those Pokemon are. But the ones I w had as a kid and used in the games and all that kind of stuff are the ones I want. So let me know if you guys have any, like I said. And I will have PayPal ready or I might be able to find some type of sports cards to trade with you if wanted. Not 100% sure. I know there are a bunch of young kids on here. I know you guys got something up y'all sleeves hiding around there, so let me know. In good condition, obviously. None of that little bullshit rips, tears, you know, bad corners and all that dumb shit. But anyways, fellas, like I said, short video today. That is all I have. Shout out to Pokemon and their 20th anniversary. Uh, big accomplishment, obviously, but it's been around forever. And I know it was a big part of my childhood. I know I watched the first season all over again recently and uh, kind of got my daughter into it. So I'm kind of proud about that. But the nostalgia was real whenever I was watching that. Um, pretty cool. Um, my wife kind of liked it as a kid herself. So just one of those moments you got to relive as a kid and uh, or as an adult from your childhood. Uh, you know, don't take life too hard. Take it easy. Enjoy yourself. And uh, yeah, stay a kid as long as you can. That's all I'm saying, fellas. But Anyways, as usual, it's your boy Ant signing out.
catch you guys on the next trip as usual hit me up kick instagram let me know what kind of cards you guys have laying around i'll pick them up off you paypal ready trade ready and that's about it fella so i'm out of here hit me up holla happy collecting deuces